Welcome and hello there, ladies and gentlemen, in this one I will show you how to obtain every single secret of Pirate's Life Tall Tale in Sea of Thieves. In order to get every single one of these commendations, you might do the things I do now in the correct order or you can do them in a different order. But be aware, if you put the captain on his actual place, like the last place where he will give you the key to move on with the tall tale, you will not be able to complete the rest of it. So now, first things first, we get into the Pirate's Grave Town. It's a beautiful town. And now we're gonna go and see our captain. And he's already singing. He's atop on that cage right there. Ye paid the warnings no heed and set foot in sailor's grave while ye still draw breath. And to free him, you need to go through a parkour course to be able to get right there and cut him off down. He will be talking like this all the time and annoy you, but it's a small price to pay. And this door will be opened a bit later when we get a key from a chess game. Time to cut the time. cage off. But, here we are. but before we get him oh, off that cage, we will get a bottle me. with Captain Bone's special recipe. And to get it, we need to go right on this platform and jump here in this hole. And this bottle of Captain Bone's special recipe is used in his own tankard. You can find him playing chess in the back of this ship in the center. But first you need to light up that candle, let them play for a bit. And once the time comes, you can put the special recipe in the tankard itself. Now we fill this tankard with the special recipe. Welcome. And now it is time to save our cursed captain and put his head on the body of Captain Bones so he can win us that chess game and we can get that key to open the captain quarters of captain bombs. The key is located on that wheel with candles. He's gonna keep on talking so I'm cutting all of these talky talky parts. So now I realize that I messed up actually the timeline but you get to this ship and this skeleton right here shows us a place to dig. One and one nice thing you can do here, you can lift those curtains up and light up the whole room. And now to show you where the books are, here one of the books. 
And now, jump into that location where we need to dig that chest. It's located right about here. And it's called Dougie's chest. And to find Dougie, you need to get back in this ship and go upstairs. You can light this candle up and you will see these guys talking about a treasure again. So this X actually is kind of far away, but here is the second book. But while you are going to that X on the map, you will see this gold pile. Just follow it and you will find Dougie. And once you find Dougie, it's time to dig him up. To reanimate him, we need to light this candle. And now he is alive again. We already dug up his chest and once you give him the chest, he will give you the key to open the chest where you will find the wager you can use for that chess game. Here we open the chest and get the medallion. This medallion, as I already said, is used in the buy-in for that chess game to get that key. I think I'm lost. Now first we buy in, we place our cursed captain Bells on Captain Bones' body and now he will win us the game well, to get the key. Rook goes to Queen's Knight 3. And that, matey, check and make means the contents of the pot be mine. A fine, fancy key, and I'll be bound it leads to pleasure. Sore loser. No Here man. is the third Never book. Once you get the key, you need to go back to this door right here, open it and pick up the treasure inside. There is a bit of gold and while you are here please do yourself a favor and turn these sails so you will have a clear view from the light tower to the brazier behind which I will show you now in a sec. Now once this brazier is lit the whole town will be lit and you will be able to go to the headless monkey's wreckage. Now get our cursed captain upstairs on that tower. Here's the fourth book. Once you put his head on this body, he will let you lit up the brazier upon the light tower. that's the way. I think it looked better in the dark. Now, to get the ferryman's attention. Now, first, you need to lit up these braziers here to get the ferryman's attention. Now, once you get his attention and shine the light upon him, you can lit that brazier that I showed you earlier, where we cleared the way with those sails. But first, shine the light upon and there she is, the Fairy of the Damned. Now it is time to lit up the town. I am pointing the light on that brazier. If you want the correct direction, it's straight north. The 
key to be cabin after all these years. The keeper took it when he ratted me out to the others and they And sent once you lit it up, you will see the whole town light up. And here you can see the bridge going up. And now you can access the wreckage of the headless monkey. Get the captain back down. And now to the headless monkey we go. Passing this bridge, which just came up. And all you need to do here in the headless monkey is to get all of the books. The first one is located right here on the mast. The second book is right next to this guy, but first you can get the headless monkey key here. The third one is on the back mast. And now to use the key, you go to the captain's quarters and find two more books. And now once you are finished with the last two books right here, it is time to put the captain on his own body. Good to have you back, and the last book is right about here, in his own cabin. Thank you guys so very much for watching, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, happy hunting.